How, <clears throat> hello. How are you today? How are you doing today? It's sunny where I am. I don't know if it's raining where you are. I don't know if you'll see this on the day it's going to be raining. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to eat me. Mm. This last bite of a fish sandwich. I know I've been trying to be vegan for years. But my... One thing that I do still eat is fish, salmon. This happened to be whiting, I believe. I haven't had a piece of fried fish in a long time, and there's nothing, mm, nothing like a good hot piece of fried fish, fresh, fried, oh my goodness, seasoned with some warm bread. Mm, mm, mm. You know, Jesus ate fish. But he also ate fish after he was resurrected. I guess he said, before I go home, let me get one more bite of that. <laughs> Ooh, and he ate some fish, okay? I don't know if it was fried, baked, or however. But he took him mm -hmm, a few bites, all right? So, I don't know. It's just something crunchy. Mm. I guess I could give it up. You know, when I eat salmon, it's not fried, but that, that whiting, honey, that fried jack salmon. But, mm -hmm. Is it the same thing? Well, anyway, it was delicious. So listen, I want to say a few things and I'll get off of here. <laughs> Woo, okay. How are you? How are you? I know that some, uh, welcome to my channel. Also, I have a few new subscribers, praise the Lord, for whatever reason. I'm not going to tell you to subscribe. You can subscribe if you want to. You can unsubscribe if you want to. What I'm doing, if it's for you, it's for you. It might not be for everybody, okay? On this channel this year, we're doing some things. Next month, the month of March, we're going to try to eat. We're going to focus on family and food, okay? We're going to focus on some simple recipes, but listen, are you paying attention to what's going on? In my influencer box later today, I'm going to put the videos that I said. It was, I'm just going to put one video that I said I was going to put. For those who have the genius minds and already have done what I'm talking about, have your little food stock and your emergency supply and all that type of stuff, and you're already paying attention to what's going on, realize that the wrong has become right. And the weather is, there's everything that is happening far and near was predestined to happen. All right. The weather is getting to the point where you can't tell if it's summer or winter where I am. One day is 70 degrees, 70 degrees, and two days later, it's 30 something degrees. It's snowing. Everything, nature, people. Listen, there's a man in Russia who was killed by their leader. He was always speaking out. When you speak out, not just people dying, people being killed. Okay, a hit for speaking right, for speaking about the right. That's the type of world we're living in. Did you hear <clears throat> one of the politicians' relatives' car locked itself and drove her into a lake and she died? A river, a lake, a body of water, let's put it like that. Are you paying attention to what's going on all over the nation? Your famous NFL football team wins. You go to celebrate in their hometown and you end up dead because people are going mad, okay? That's the type of work. That, these are the things that's happening in the world. These are just a few examples. But let me say this. Be encouraged. God is for you if you are for him. But let me say this. There's division amongst 
races, there's a vis division among countries, blah, blah, blah. So you can, we can go on and on and on, okay? This is still Black History Month. We're still celebrating and should be educating ourselves about our history and the history of mankind, period, okay? Where did humanity originate? Africa, okay? The continent of Africa. That's what scientists are saying. I wasn't there, okay? But listen, God is for you if you are his, but nobody's getting away with anything. Nobody. It might take 50 years, 100 years, but listen, no country, no system, no people. It does not matter how much money a person has, how much money they don't, who they know. Nobody is getting, God has made that clear in his word, so be encouraged. Nobody's getting away with anything and everybody is going to reap what they sow. Now, God will have mercy on you and you can be forgiven. He can blot out your sins and, for, and remember them not. That's what the Bible says. If you ask for forgiveness, but you have to ask for forgiveness. You have to ask, you have to be sincere, but nobody's getting away with anything, okay? So whoever you think you are or they think they are there are bigger listen god is a great god his ways are so much higher than ours and his thoughts and he nothing is getting unchecked okay isn't that good news isn't that good news so if you are in fear of what is going to happen just know death is inevitable. We are all going to die. Do you have a burial policy? Do you have life insurance? What are you living for? Because you are going to pay. You are going to pay. And I'm going to leave you with this. Be encouraged that you can make it. God is for you. If you are for him, if you're not for him, you might need to get in. Get on your knees, get down, get in prayer, get on your knees, confess, ask the Lord to save you, to bless you, to help you, to forgive you, all that type of stuff. But no, nobody's getting away with anything. Nobody, God sits high, he's seeing it all, okay? And nobody, we are just human beings. I don't care from the most famous, the most wealthy people in the world. Guess what? They're flesh and blood, just like me and you. They have to eat every day. They have to drink, every, you know, dress. They need food, clothing, shelter, all that type of stuff. God is the ultimate, okay? So it doesn't matter, you know, just put your trust in God. Know that he is able, he can do whatever he wants when he gets ready, but he has in his word that certain things are going to happen before he comes back. He is coming. Jesus is coming back. He's on his way. If you if you ask me, because we just like that song said years ago, we are going to self destruct. And the Bible even says, if it were not for his soon uh, the shortening of time, that there will be no flesh that will be saved. What do you think? What do you think is about to happen soon and very soon? Get ready. But listen, be encouraged. Keep it simple. Just, I know there's some things that we need to do. We might be dreading like taxes and all that type of stuff. Do one or two major things this week, but keep it simple. Today is Sunday. Get your seven outfits for the rest of the week, okay? Seven pair of pants, seven shirts, seven tank tops, whatever it is that you're wearing, seven dresses. Let's think about for the month of March, getting our month worth of food. A whole month's worth of food ready for the month. Paying bills one time if we can for the month, okay? We're going to keep it simple, and we're going to just be grateful that God has allowed us to live another day. But what are you living for? Fulfill your calling in, in, in Christ Jesus. Do what it is, whatever gifts and talents that he has given you, whether you're a provider, whether you're a inspirational motivational speaker whatever it is an artist um a family a matriarch a patriarch whatever it is that god has blessed you to do keep on going pray for renewal of strength don't give up god has a reward for you god has a reward for you be blessed and that's the message for today 
God has a reward for you no matter what happens. Nobody's getting away with anything. 